Colonia. If you hear con permiso, that means get out of the way. We're in Central? Yeah. Sabano Peppers. <laughs> you ready to come back again? No, 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 no. Hey guys, today me and Nina went to the market. You can see little Julian here. How old is he, Becca? Three weeks tomorrow. Three weeks tomorrow. Also, we're doing a consultation service as well. So if you are thinking about moving to Merida and you just wanna like have a call with somebody who's on the ground, I was even thinking if you wanted We are gonna be doing a service for that. So just email us or just message us on Instagram. about a 30 minute ride and we're right we're kind of down in central uh, let me see if I can show you around so yeah I'm just waiting on a friend she usually comes down here on Mondays and I told her I wanted to do this so I can get like a better idea of like the market and vegetable situation basically went to one of the side streets. This thing is huge, man. You can find anything in it. Yeah. Okay, come on. Watch out. Yeah, I saw someone getting a haircut too. Oh, snap, yeah. So it's like this. Let's go out this way again. I'm not even sure if we're in the right spot, but whatever. Kind of reminds me of the market in Vietnam, and I really enjoyed that, yeah. We got the market expert here. Hey, so. <laughs> about to. On an adventure. Let's go. Everything, that is a great place to go. They have like a lot of uh, natural remedies. Oh, okay. That's a good place to go. Yeah. Right uh, your Spanish is trash. So. It's trash. It's trash <laughs> Spanish. <laughs> so the only Spanish you, I guess, while you're with me, that's important to know is con permiso. If you hear say. con permiso, that means get out of the way. Oh, okay. If coming with someone and they're saying con permiso, like move. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Good, right, good, okay. good to know. So, well, this is just for you. What are you looking to get? Or are you just looking to see how it is? See how it is, but also just vegetables. like. Okay. Like try to get like fruits and veggies. I guess it's the Yeah. <laughs> so where are we? We're in Central? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Another place like a strawberry. Mm -hmm. Why do they got grapes? We got the grapes. I will say grapes and strawberries are like the most. Get some bananas, some potatoes. Mm -hmm. Definitely a lot of flies. Um, they're not really bothering me. They're kind of just sitting on the food, but I'm gonna see if I can grab a few of these bananas. Cool. Yeah, let's go. So that costs some grapes, bananas, and some potatoes, 144 pesos. So now we're in here. I mean, they got all kind of stuff in here. I think I'm gonna grab some carrots. Yes, candy. All right, what's back here? This looks like some kind of this trigo. I mean, it's sugar. There's definitely pasta back here. 
Yeah, the flies are uh, interesting. Oh, we got some rice. Lentils, looks like peppers, um, pinto beans, black beans. Yeah, tons of stuff. I need to find some cabbage. They got the lettuce. And yeah, the fruit flies is out, boy. The fruit flies is out. Oh yeah, they got avocado, habano peppers, zucchinis. And then those are some crazy looking carrots. So I got the cabbage, uh, two bags of rice, and some lemon. Oh, lime. That yeah, last place, I got three limes, two bags of rice, and a cabbage. I think I only spent like 50 pesos. Maybe even, yeah, maybe even like 60 pesos at the most. So we're about to get honey in here. Um, let's see. All right, Nina, right in there. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. That is a big spider. You see, buddy? Okay, but yeah, let's go ahead and get that honey. Yo, it's spiders all over. Look. Right. It's spiders like all right here. That's fire. And then if you look up, it's spiders all right there. Say you're American without saying you're American. <laughs> yeah, but right. And then look at Buddy right here. Yo. Like, you truly see how safe Merida is in the market? Yeah. Because I haven't heard anything, I haven't had anything happen to me. And I am known for like walking around with this open with my wallet, my phone, everything. And multiple times people have been like, hey, close your thing. Yeah. So I just had a hundred pesos sticking in my pocket. The lady was like, <laughs> hey, what's that? Yeah, so it's safe and people are cool, but still use common sense. Right. Dad, All right, let's go guys. Up now. You've been saying that forever. You want a toy? Yeah. So Said this is the hectic part. So, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm good. I'll probably get some corn because I know Nina likes corn. How much is the carrots, Nina? Fifteen. Fifteen, that's right. Gracias. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to? Uh, <laughs> 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 What's that weird smell? What's that weird smell? Look how big that avocado is. Mm. We will in a minute. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Follow K. Don't get lost. No, it's time there to follow. Another good place for greens. Greens? Okay. Cool. Come on, Nina. This way. Let's go. Follow K. Yes. Honey. <laughs> Spiderless honey. Should be good. I just spent 100 pesos on honey. Ah, okay. We'll go home, no worries. It takes time to get used to the markets. Yeah. It takes time. Got the carrot and beef. I bet you hit the bathroom before we leave. <laughs> okay. What's what? It's a beet carrot juice. <laughs> We're gonna go home soon, no worries. Dragon fruits is looking good. We just gotta get coconut water, gotta get fish, and then we're done. Coconut water, fish, and we're done. I wanna go home. Why? Because I'm very, very tired and I miss mom. 
Okay, stop kicking my shirt. Oh, damn. <laughs> Duck your head down. Duck your head down. Nina, you heard me? Yeah. Duck your head down. Let me get four of those. You want four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need okay. the coconut water. So here's the cup, okay? If you want all natural coconut milk, you get a couple of these, and you get a couple of these. You just like chop those up and like blend it all together and strain it. That's what It's seriously here. Oh, yeah, no. Okay. Where is that? Where is the guy? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bought a flower for Becca. But who knows if it'll last? Let's see. Yeah, this place is a maze. Hundred percent a maze. I hope the camera's steady enough, man. It's just like so much happening. <laughs> Try and get a car soon. Nina, hold the flower up. You looking like you looking like you're having an allergic reaction to something. So Nina seems to be a little sneezy. How do you feel about the market? What do you think about it? Bad. What about why? Spiders. <laughs> spiders, yeah, it's a lot of spiders. Cool, I mean, for me, it was a fraction of the price. Yeah, it felt good. It feels kind of like the- I can't take it. It feels kind of like the market in Vietnam, but like you said, it is a little bit more hectic. And uh, I think once you, once you get like your vendors, like you know the people, then you probably get even less, you know. Yeah, you probably get even less. But Nina was sneezing a lot. I think she might have an allergic reaction to something. Um, I don't know, we're gonna come back again so she can, uh... Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no gracias. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really into colognes, bro. Just hit me with the smooth cologne. Two minutes on the car. Uh, let me know in the comments if you if there's anything you wanna know about the market. We're gonna come back again. It saves a lot of money, that's for sure. That's the best part. Um, and it makes me feel like I'm in Mexico because where we live, it can feel very suburbia, outskirts of big city America, suburbia. So yeah, it makes me feel like I'm living in the country that I'm living in. Do you need <laughs> to know Spanish to go to the markets? It helps a thousand percent, especially if you want to have this relationship with the vendors. Mm -hmm. um, I think people in any country just appreciate it when you learn the language. It just makes for a more pleasant experience. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't trust my gut and I go to this carrot person instead of another carrot person and I end up paying double at that person. Definitely trust your gut. If something feels too expensive, don't get it. Just go to the next vendor. If some vendor's attitude seems off, just, just don't be afraid to walk away, pretty much. That makes sense. Yeah, trial and error. Sometimes I'll go get drinks from this person and it's like crazy sweet and then I'll try the next person and it's like just right for the price and the taste. Yeah. So, yeah. It okay. takes a few times before you have your routine 
and you have your people like when they see you come in they go in the back and get the extra stuff for you <laughs> so, how long have you been in merida over a year like a year and damn a year yeah. and <laughs> how long you been traveling oh man well since i was a kid for sure but uh, my abroad journey started in 2018. okay and we met in vietnam so you know yeah. Vietnam <laughs> the market and what you saw? I saw spiders. I saw a lot of kinds of fruit. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of things. You ready to come back again? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I tell you to do when you see the spiders? <laughs> Why? Because it's because the spiders are afraid of me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Please subscribe. If you don't like dad's videos, please do not describe. That's it all.